pure wine. Here is an amazing fact. In 1869, Dr. Thomas Bramwell Welch, a physician and dentist by profession, successfully pasteurized Concord grape juice to produce an unfermented sacramental wine for fellowship parishioners at his church in Vineyard, New Jersey. The key text is found in Isaiah 65 verse 8. Thus says the Lord, as the new wine is found in a cluster, and one says, Do not destroy it, for a blessing is in it. So will I do for my servants' sake, that I may not destroy them all. He was inspired to do this after a visitor became drunk and unruly following a communion service in which fermented wine was used. Since antiquity, there have been several methods of preserving wine from fermenting, but they always sacrificed much in the way of taste. Dr. Welch's process preserved both. Today, Welch's Grape Juice is an international food company. Alcohol consumption is a national problem in America, as was other parts of the world, too. It destroys people's ability to think clearly and act properly. Tests show that after drinking three bottles of beer, there is an average of 13% net memory loss. After taking only small quantities of alcohol, trained typists were tested and their errors increased 40%. Only one ounce of alcohol increases the time required to make a decision of nearly 10%, hinders muscular reaction by 17%, and increases errors due to lack of attention by 35 to 60 percent. Using the illustration of grapes, Jesus said, I am the true vine and my father is the vine dresser. Every branch in me that does not bear fruit he takes away and every branch that bears fruit he prunes, that it may bear more fruit. That's in John 15, 1 and 2. When we do not abide in Christ, the fruit that we bear is permeated with sin. Like fermented grape juice, the results of a life without Jesus are impure, broken, and impaired, unless we are connected to Christ. We will not bear good fruit unless we abide in Jesus. We will be cut off. Spend time with the Lord every day. Press the word against your heart. Talk to God in prayer. And let the pure spiritual wine flow unfermented by sin out of your life to bless others. Let's pray. Father in heaven, we ask you to please be with the people who are consumed by alcohol, which is fermented drink, which is very dangerous. And Father, we're asking you to please be with those people who really need help to overcome their alcohol addiction. And we're asking you to please uh, be with them and we're asking them to please pray to you for help and guidance and to overcome alcoholism and hoping if they could find an Alcoholics Anonymous in their area or recovery institution but most of all lord we're praying for them if they could give their hearts totally to jesus christ and to be connected with him and to be clean and sober and to overcome alcoholism and they really do need the victory in jesus and we're praying for them for your holy spirit to give them the strength and we're praying for healing and to overcome alcoholism and to drink unfermented grape juice, which is the very best for us, so we can uh, cleanse 
them from their sinful ways and to get rid of the sour blood and Jesus paid it all with his cleansing of his blood that he shed for humanity so they can be clean and be sober and help them to have their minds hearts and souls to get rid of the dangerous toxins of alcohol and to give them clean hearts minds and souls and to uplift Jesus Christ and he died for us and died for them so they can be free and forgiven from their sinful ways and we're praying for them that they could turn their lives turn their lives over to Jesus through the reading of your holy word and to study for your truth is our prayer and we thank you in Jesus name I pray amen and amen God bless you